So, you guys have never worked together. What was, I mean, have you guys always wanted to work together? And I've always wanted, I, always wanted to work with I've Sam. I've always wanted to work with her, and I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan, and we hadn't met. Um, you know, sometimes you, you, you meet at various events or whatever, just being actors, you know, you have a movie at the same time, you're at a festival at the same time, but we'd, we'd never met. And uh, what, um, what was the process like working together? You guys had some pretty intense scenes. It was incredible. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had as an actor. The, the, the chemistry that we have together was something that is rare. It just doesn't happen very often, you know? And, and I found a lot of the time, it was also what Tony Goldwyn, um, he gave us the gift of, of, of um, filming some scenes in the, in the prison scenes that were the, some of the most difficult scenes with two cameras. So we had an opportunity where we were, you know, Tony would say cut and it was like we were plopped back down on earth and we traveled somewhere together. You know, we were really just locked in and um, y you were saying something that, that, that I completely agree with, which is we have the, a very similar work ethic and, and a passion for, for acting and the craft. And so we just, we were in it. Yeah. We got in the trenches together and. We were hungry to, to really do some acting and I really wanted to get in there and do it and, and, and you know I just am such a huge fan of Hillary's and she gave me uh, you know she kind of trusted me to be her older brother you know and, and that uh, was able to give me that that kind of status as an older brother so it was easy for me to to, to be in those scenes with her you know she endowed me with that with that stuff you know we had a lot of fun yeah I mean, you could really feel the chemistry on set. Like, I mean, just when you watch the film, like, you guys really seem like brother and sister. It's fantastic. Um, I mean, that's what this story is about. It's a love story between a brother and sister. What is that bond about? It's, it's an amazing love. I mean, it's, a, it's a, the, the ultimate kind of commitment and love. I mean, it's, it's hard to, you know, it's hard. I mean, to really have that, you know. And it, it is something you have with blood a lot of times. And sometimes you have it with people who aren't you're not related to. But yeah, but also sometimes you don't have it. You can have a sibling sure, and then sure. not and not have that. But I think from just the nature of how they were raised, without you know parents who were present and and um, they they found a home with each other, and therefore they became their each other's everything and and, and and like an extension of each other. And the idea if Kenny dies, you know I die, Betty Ann. And um, it's it's clear. I mean, when you see her talk about their their childhood, and you see it depicted in the film, you just see. Well, of course, of course, you know, it's 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 a love that I don't know if most people have, and I think it's a love that most people want and are searching for. And I think that that for me is what I connected into. That's what I locked into. Just how extraordinary to feel that to have that, to know that. And that's what life's about, you know? And I think every, people who leave the movie are saying, I want to nurture the one that I love and I don't want to take him for granted. And then we'll call them up and say, I really love you. You know, people have been saying that. And that's, uh, that, that feels great to know that we somehow service the story and, and, and because that's what I took from it when I, when I heard, heard, heard Betty share and read the script. Talk about working with Betty Ann, like the collaboration from like meeting her and then just through the whole process. I mean, I know she had many stories and just. Well, she was really accessible, you know. She really made herself accessible to us. And she told us stories and we, we just, we had a lot of fun with her. You know, she, her sons are amazing. Like you can just tell what a great person she is by her sons, the way she raised them, you know. And she's just, she's fun to, fun to be around. And so it was easy. To, You're right. To with the, the relationship it, you know? she has with her boys, and the relationship she had with Kenny, and then the relationship she has with mm -hmm. her best friend. Yeah. Well, mo some people only have one of those, if one of those things. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it does. It speaks volumes of, of who she is and the what, what the selfless person she is, as well as you know, like you said, the fun person she is. Yeah, like the scene where she's the, your son's doing homework and he wants to read it, and you're busy with something, and you say, No, no, honey, come over here. And, and read it to me, read it to me. I mean, that, that's exactly what Betty Ann's like, you know. She captures that. Hillary captures that really well. Thanks. You know? And, 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 you know, and obviously Pamela Gray, our, our, 
our writer oh, um, really she captured a, the spirit of, of all the characters in a, a poignant way. As actors, do you feel a high responsibility to, like, when you're portraying someone who, you know, is a real person, yeah. you know, whereas just like someone that's, you know, a fictional? Absolutely, character? and I think yeah. if that person is still walking the earth, like Betty Ann Waters, you know, she's she's there to to, to see. Um, her story being told. She was, you know, at the premiere yesterday, and you feel an enormous responsibility to not let her down, to not let Kenny down. You know, to, to the family. Um, yeah, it's 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 big. Yeah, absolutely. And for you with Kenny, I, I mean, you didn't have uh, a lot of interaction, so you just, I mean, did a lot of your character come from, you know, Betty's sort of telling of how he is. Yeah, and there were, there were some audio tapes of him talking to his lawyer and uh, letters from him to Betty Ann from prison. And just those stories, yeah, and the script. That was it. Yeah. Cool. Are we done? Thank you, guys. Thanks I a lot. Thanks it. a lot. Bye.